So I'm going to prove to you that function statics are literally not initialized until the first invocation of a function. Uh, in fact, if you never call the function, then the statics will never be initialized. So here we go. Um, let's make a let's make our function f again, and then I'm going to notice I have this cow here, and this cow, its parameterless constructor simply traces that execution went through here. So so let's do um c out begin f and line, and then I'm going to say c out end f, and then between these two. I'm going to declare my cow cow. Let's make it static. And then in here I'm going to say see how uh, calling f dot 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 and then done calling f and then in here I'm going to call f. So I'll think about what this setup is going to do. We're, we're going to print, we're going to execute f, we're going to say begin f and, and so It'd be good for you to pause the video here and write down what you think the output would be, or at least pause the video and think about it, uh, at the very least. But um, let's let's go ahead and execute this. Of course, the build failed. Uh, cow followed by void is illegal because I forgot to put a semicolon here at the end of my class declaration. Okay, so let's do this again. Run it. Okay, so calling f begin f. Notice the begin f executed before the cow constructor. And then we have end f, and then we have done calling f. Now watch what happens. If I take the call out to f, call the call to f out, the cow constructor no longer executes. Because since we didn't call, invoke the function, then the the cow instance didn't need to be needed did not need to be initialized. Now let's just uh, let's uncomment this. Let's put two of them here. Again, you should pause the video and think what's going to happen. But I'll tell you what's going to happen. Uh, since cow is static, then it'll initialize on the first call, but not on the second call. In fact, let's just see out between here. And I'm simply using these trace statements is what I call them, print statements, to show what execution is doing. So let's build, run, calling f, begin f, notice the cow is initialized. And f, we're between, we call again, but no cow initialization or constructor executes here because we already did it on the first execution. So if you don't call the function, you don't pay the price of, of initialization. Uh, once you call the function after the first time, then it's considered initialized. It's a static variable private to the function in which it is de defined.